Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In my last video about my first shortwave radio and ham radio antenna, uh, I generated a lot of, uh, or well, several comments mentioning the importance of a good ground to the performance of shortwave radio reception, and in fact, all radio reception, and by extrapolation, ham radio transmission as well. Now, when you talk about a ground, you're, you're dealing with two different types. DC ground, that is direct current ground, and RF ground, radio frequency ground. Now, a good DC ground can comprise nothing more than a length of wire, preferably the, the heavier the gauge, the better, running to the nearest really good earth ground source. Oftentimes, a cold water pipe will serve that purpose very well. It doesn't matter how long it is, it, because it's for direct current. It keeps you safe and it keeps your equipment from having weird behaviors on account of not being grounded for direct current. But the RF ground is a different beast, a different beast entirely. And for that, there are a lot of different ways to get it. So I'd like to ask you the question, how do you get your RF ground? I, uh, I get mine by means of radial wires at the antenna feed point, radial wires for a vertical antenna, which is tuned, for, uh, the whole thing is tuned at the radio, so there's some loss in the coaxial feed line. It's a ground plane antenna, and the ground plane serves for the purpose of RF ground, but has nothing to do with the DC ground. Uh, so I'd like to ask you, it seems we're learning more here, and I'm learning more here, uh, by listening or reading your comments than I am by yammering at you. So I'll just throw the question out there. How do you get your radio frequency ground for whatever antenna it is that you are using, either for shortwave listening or for ham radio operation, and regardless of frequency. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which, regardless of RF ground type, in my native fist, has always, does now, and ever shall, translate to, did da da da